adventurous climb down to the boat for breakfast meats. We had a visitor last night. We had a possum, biggest possum I've ever seen. I heard a little, a little banging, and uh, we had a, a frying pan out that some meat was um, cooked in. No meat in it. When I shine my light on it. Huge possum, huge. So whatever, roll back over. About two minutes later, I hear this him just dragging the meat bag across the ground. I watched him drag it all the way down the cliff and off so that was it but the best part was about 30 minutes before that i'm dead asleep on my back and something is on my face and i just flip out and i get my light and i'm shining i can't find it i was afraid it was that giant spider or oh, a spider like dead. that it was just a stupid cricket Um, this is the cave. It's not really a cave, it's more of a overhang, but it's a pretty good one. It is a good one. Oh, Chris is On top of the overhang is where we slept. Night two, way up there. We had a, quite a hike of getting all our stuff up there. This trash is not ours. We- Not our trash. We try to leave places even better than we found them. We do. But we are out of- uh, space out of trash bags, so we unfortunately are gonna have to leave this. We would usually pick up other people's trash, but unfortunately, this year Chris forgot the trash bags <laughs> and the paper towels, and the paper towels, and his pillow. So, our boats have been tied at the water, and we gotta burn. get all of this stuff down there. But only so. two of us actually got it up here, so if three of us bring it down. Now, it come on fast. now. I brought all kinds of stuff. I know, but it's just more fun to uh. kind of tease you. Uh. Oh, you got to walk that. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Okay. Easy does it. Easy. Last line. Yeah. Okay. Only 20 more. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good stuff. This one coming down. Hope you don't mind that I'm filming. Nope. I used it's to, every wonderful moment. <laughs> I used to film at camp to get out of doing oh. trust building activities. We, oh, we know. <laughs> Tossing it. Toss it. Oh, Got God. It. Coming. Oh, okay. You get how pink my legs are? <laughs> Is that Rudolph? Kind of. <laughs> I hadn't seen that. How have I missed that? I don't know. I mean, you've been wearing these panties the whole trip. I know, I have. I might not get past the sensors. Are you counting on it? <laughs> Someone's making a lot of noise. Yeah, we got us some wingers. What's their deal? I've seen more people on the river this trip than... Well, yesterday was Saturday, so maybe they... Oh, you mean just in general? Yeah, just in general. There's a lot of peanuts in the water. Fish bait. Snake repellent. Snakes hate peanuts. Yeah, everybody knows that. You want to see a snake come out from under something, you go ahead and lift that towel up. Oh, hold on. 
You made that noise, right? I did. <laughs> I didn't care for that. There's so many snaky areas around here. Okay. No snakes. No, I don't see any snakes. I'm watching for snakes. Still keeping an eye out for snakes. We have obviously rattlesnakes and we copperheads. Have copperheads. Water moccasins. Yes. The racer snake right in here. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, where? Look right through this foliage. See it? Oh, oh my god! Oh, no, it's a frog! <laughs> 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 we saw the racer snake, he was going after a frog, the frog leaped out. Oh my terrified. god. I wonder if they're poisonous. I don't know, uh, put your hand out there. Okay. Wow, how far are we going? I don't know. Where did <laughs> how far would you like this to go? <laughs> so dry, it's so, so dry this dry? year. This is usually full of little puddles. Hey, get off me, bug. Hey. Hey. Yeah, there are some horse flies. Horse flies? Horse flies bite. Horse flies are big biters. Big biters. Will not leave you alone till they've bitten every last little chunk out of you. Get the f off me. <laughs> Except for the sand. That's a nice little cliff. Uh huh. Yeah. A little cave. That is a little cave. Let's go. Should we explore it? We Should we go in? <laughs> Now when we peer over, we have no idea what we're going to find, so I'm actually going to take a rock Bobcats, and pitch it in there Snakes, for raccoons, opossums, hermits of some kind. Yes. Hi! Okay. Well, well, there it is. We have done it. I think the answer to all of our questions here is no. All right, Michael swimming across. Back when they were younger, they used to jump off that thing. I did too, but now I'm smart. So many spiders on this rock. Exhilarating. Hi, let's swim back. All right, pull the boat. All right, I'll film the whole thing. <laughs> I've watched people as they sail past, like checking Matt out in his <laughs> his yellow tidy shorts, but and they're like, "What's going?" On? <laughs> like, That's interesting. They were like, "But look at all those tats. I'm not going to mess with him because he not could be mess like with that guy, tough guy, <laughs> the least tough tattoos around." I have a fried egg. <laughs> Where is that at? It's right there. <laughs> What's the story behind the fried egg tattoo? That is, uh, that was uh, when we did that dark ride and we built a, a whole dark ride around this egg um, in Denver. Oh my gosh, it's a slide. It's a slide? There's clothes in here. 
I got that. A friend of mine did a stick and poke. What else is related to meow wolf? Um, the snaggy. Here. The snaggy. The snaggy is a meow wolf. That's the only other meow wolf thing. Uh -huh. that wrote is that Iron Man's guns? glove? The repulsor That's race? what I was going to say. Is it what? What? You don't even know what's back there. I, I don't even know. I, Trust I, me, Matt, it looks great. I've never <laughs> seen it. <laughs> I've never seen it. This year has been pretty shallow, um, a lot more shallow than it has been the last couple years. In fact, I'm kind of dragging the bottom right now. Oh. I was trying to challenge myself, can I muscle through it without actually getting out? It's my test of manhood. So, as I was saying, <laughs> it hasn't been this low in several years. You need a shot of us wearing masks. Yes. You don't have your river masks on. <laughs> I haven't brushed my teeth today. <laughs> you forgot my toothbrush. toothbrush and my toothpaste. Well, I will be fabricating one later out well. of some um, environmental type things. <laughs> Rock. Six and <laughs> <pen> stand. <laughs> it really gets the grin off <laughs> and then back in. <laughs> My gums have never bled so much. <laughs> <laughs> Say something funny. <laughs> we have an audience we're trying to entertain. <laughs> oh. On our right is Worth Ranch Boy Scout Camp. And it is overgrown. They have had no business, which is sad. We usually camp straight across from it. On that nice rocky rock. Well, we're not well. We have stayed on the rocky rocks, but, but we, we climb up. We've been staying in the trees lately. John, stay on the beach if you want. No, spidery. Spidery everywhere. This river is nothing but spiders. Hope I can find three trees. Uh huh. Now, is this going to be high enough? Oh. Because when Chris gets on, he might. Get pretty low. What are you saying? Well, I think, Should I mean, we let's, try it? I mean, let's see how tight we can get it and see what it is. Okay. <laughs> Actually, feels pretty good. Well, let's go high. Is that a little lower than you want? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I can feel, feel the grass, I can feel it. There we go. That, that, that's how this thing should be. This is a perfect spot. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. That's great. And you're downhill, but your head will be at this end, so that would work out.
snack three. Still reaching for that satisfying Fritos bean. Mm. For that Fritos sponsorship. Mm. When you need nothing less than a maximum crunch, mm. it's the it. only corn chip we grab for on the river. Fritos brand scoops. Mm. We dip hard. We dip hard. <laughs> That's your catchphrase. <laughs> we dip hard. So Bobo's a great table. He's a great companion for me. He carries things that I want to keep cold. He got an upgrade this year. He's got a fin on the bottom. Helps him track better. Mm-hmm. It's amazing what you can find on Facebook Marketplace. You found a fin? No, no, no. The oh. boat boat itself. The fin was on uh, Amazon. He's my buddy. Oh, he loved me just like everyone else. <laughs> oh, turned a little dark. <laughs> What's you your first memory on the river? Are you using first, your finger as a chip? I'm out of scoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, first memory. First one I remember really vividly is whenever we got caught in the rainstorm. Was that 96? So 96. I was 13 out here with um, some campers at Camp Carter. Matt was out here and your now wife, not at the time though, Jenny. We all crammed into a couple of uh, tents, tried to wait it out with this much water. No, what we had is we brought enough tents for the entire like 14 of us that, right. were, that were here, campers right. and counselors. No one had brought the tents in years or at least inspected them. When it became a deluge of biblical proportions, we were able to assemble two two-man tents. And I don't think anyone had heard of a rain fly. And we all, 14 of us, crammed into two two-man tents uh -huh. without rain flies. And the water just filled up. Mm -hmm. Everyone pressed against the wet I remember walls. being in a sleeping bag with my face half submerged in the water. I knew, and that's when I, sp I spoke to myself and I said, Self, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. Same river. Same river. We nope. tried another river once. We did. Eh. Eh. And <laughs> you know, it was too cold. Too fast for us. It was fast. <laughs> the water's coming towards us right now, but I'm looking downstream. <laughs> it has That's how we like it. It has a tendency to change change directions. And scene. And no. scene. What's like tonight? That. What are we doing tonight? Dinner was. We're doing hobos, hobo packs. Oh yeah, we're gonna mm -hmm. flash back and watch me making them in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. Your move, Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we're gonna eat on our third night, and I like to make some stuff ahead of time. On the third night, we're pretty tired. So we don't wanna go through a lot of preparation just to eat. So this is pretty classic uh, summer camp fare. It's hobo packs, just kind of a meat and potatoes version. And I'm gonna spare you the agony of watching me cut up these vegetables, so we'll just speed through it. Okay, so now we got everything ready to make the packets. And I'll just start with one and then repeat. I'm gonna put gloves on again since I'm handling raw meat and people are eating it. I'm sure it reaches the right temperature, but weird times. I'm gonna give it a little spray and kind of split the meat into three even-ish amounts. We'll start here. Just kind of like I'm gonna make a hamburger patty. I'm gonna drop some onions on it. I'm gonna put some potatoes in there. <laughs> this is art, really. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Who's not gonna love that? Hmm. Put 
Put lots of seasoning on there. And the big thing is to sprinkle a little French onion soup mix on it. Then we wrap it up. Oops. Cheap foil. Then I like to freeze it hard overnight so that it becomes part of the stuff that keeps my other stuff cold without making a watery mess. Anyway, we'll repeat this two more times. And everybody's got dinner for the third night. Okay, what? Nothing. I don't want to say okay. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Hey guys, it's Chris again. That was the rule. No, hey guys, like you're a 13 year old YouTuber. No, I'd love that. Okay, let's see what happened with these um, uh, people without a permanent residence yeah. packs. These people packs. <sighs> Hot. Very Woo. hot. Yep, to hot. Oh, to the man. skin, to the sensitive skin. The sunburned skin, too. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Goodness. Roll that back. Yeah. Are you getting this? Are you capturing this? <laughs> capturing me, burning Are you capturing myself. all these moments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not mm. so bad over here. Michael's already eating it. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, it looks done. Oh, wow. In many places. It is good. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah. down there, the... I can yeah. make these at home from time to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Anyway. Yeah, looks moist. Need... Looks done. Did the work ahead of time. Uh, so that's the last dinner. Michael wins, though. His last oh. night was the best. Okay. Y'all are making brownies. We're attempting to make these brownies. In our Dutch oven. In our camping Dutch oven. We have no measuring With vegetable utensils. oil that is <laughs> years old. It has been on many camping trips. We don't know if vegetable oil goes bad or not. This menu's getting better all the time. Okay, so. We're just gonna dump it. You wanna grease that pan? Yeah. Nope. We're That's gonna mix good. it. We're gonna mix it. Ready? Third, That's a third of a cup. A third of a cup. Yo, go! <laughs> Third of a cup. Easy. Okay. Easy third, third of, of a cup, cup right um, there. Follow water. us for more recipes. Yep. Some water. <laughs> How much water? Um, what does it say? It says quarter cup. It's real big at the top. Oh, quarter <laughs> quarter cup. Okay. You this... know what a quarter cup looks like? Look, Need more than doesn't that. Doesn't look like that. <laughs> does not look like that. <sighs> Give me some more. <laughs> Need a little more. <laughs> One more there. A quarter cup. A quarter. I'd say just a little more. Just a little more. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then, Perfect. and then one egg. One, and it's called specifically for one egg white only beater. Well, perfect. Well, we bought egg white, which is what we have only, yeah. and we weren't meaning to. Which is great because it only wants egg whites. Okay. Are you just gonna give it a stir, or are you yeah, gonna just really gonna stir get, it? I'm gonna shake it. Give oh, it a we stir. are gonna stir it for yep. real. Oh wow, those are whitey. Oh my gosh, that's one egg. That's about an egg. That's, that's an about egg an egg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what your breakfast is tomorrow. I'm gonna give it a tiny bit more. Give it a little taste too. Okay. Uh, that's are those really egg whites? Cage Did free, 100 percent liquid egg whites. I feel like river water got in there. There's, I'm sure this is gonna be great. Should we, do you want uh, like a little bit of butter in there? It does not call for butter. Yeah, I know, but let's drop a stick of butter. Yeah, in. put some bu butter Wait, in there. Why a stick of butter when uh, it calls for no butter? Half a stick. Put why half a, half a stick of butter. We know what we're doing. Okay, we're gonna call that good. We're gonna call that good. How does it taste? What does it taste let's like? Let's see. Probably tastes pretty good, huh? Ooh, you just really ate that. Of course, we're all gonna eat it. It's it's different. Wait, what do you mean different? It's the oil, isn't it? It's the bad oil. It's probably the oil you've been hanging on to for years. It's probably the, the oil of those weird egg whites, but either way. Oh, careful, careful. 
Do we have enough coal? I don't know. And then we're going to <laughs> okay. take some coals, put them on top. The five we got? Yep. Five coals on there. Science. And this works as an oven. It looks like y'all finished the brownies. I missed the reveal. Chris missed the reveal. Brownies turned out pretty they well. They turned out great. They didn't even stick to the bottom of the pan. Crazy. This is the first time for us on the river. To make brownies? To make, make brownies. Mmm. Mm, brownies. How are they? Doubly chocolate? Yep. How many stars? Three. Three what is all you you're different? giving? Huh? What would you do different? Um, have real eggs. Okay. And an oven? No, they're good. Yeah. I'll start over. Would and in the kitchen? Would you have your mom make them? <laughs> is that what you want? Eat them after school? <laughs> they're great. Not so good. There was a lot of spiders tonight. We did the stupid thing again. We watched a scary movie. We've decided no more scary movies in the woods. Tomorrow is a short day and we go to the Wildcatter Ranch to wrap things up, but we're, we're supposed to get massages and we're all too sunburned. So that's going to be fun. Uh, and that's it. Good night, Michael. Good night, Chris. Good night, Matt. Breakfast meat. Breakfast meat. Burned cinnamon rolls. Burned cinnamon rolls. We do. A classic on the river. A river classic. Black rolls. <laughs> well, we get busy, we forget stuff's cooking. That we are leaving the third night campsite. We are out of ice. We are out of hope. The, the beers are hot. <laughs> Matt's drinking them anyway. Well, it's the final uh, maybe 45 minutes um, of a four day trip. And as always, it's, it's somewhat bittersweet. Uh, you know, you start to really be thankful for for these times, and you already know. Like, I'm start paddling a little slower, um, ready to get home, see my wife. But there's just a part that makes you never want to get off this river. Um, <laughs> if you had enough water and enough food, I feel like we could do this for at least a week um, but no you got to get back to reality uh, get back to work get back to other people that aren't here um, but as soon as you you stop at Rochelle's is where we um, where we rent our canoe and where our vehicles waiting for us as soon as you pull up there there's just a longing waiting for next summer um, when when you can be back on this river. The last stretch is bittersweet. It's the longest hour ever because you can see the bridge. But it's so far away. Over the years, this this trip has probably influenced me as a person just as much as many many other things. But um. I think my brother and I would both agree, because we've talked about it multiple times, that there are a few pivotal things in our life, and this would be one of them. Uh, camp Carter would be another one. So, we met at summer camp, and there's some cool things we used to do at camp, but one of the things that makes summer camp camp is arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. Yeah. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little keepsake activity. Uh-oh. <laughs> where we use Brazos River water. Oh, right. And we do a watercolor. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I uh, thought that me, might be something. wash myself. A self-portrait? No, it's, well, it's whatever you want to paint. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. You know, you can paint what you're looking at. Hey, these you are can... used. <laughs> <laughs> this, 
yeah, these are used. <laughs> well, I did this activity these with... from your kids? Well, oh, you've done this before. Yeah, I did this recently with... Uh, Not so special. Jenny right? and the girls. Uh-huh. Yeah, did you, uh, meet, did you meet them at camp? <laughs> well, one of them. I want to have extra brushes if your medium is not satisfying. Oh, good. I'm going to make some happy trees. I'm used to working it with a small one, so... Working it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Are we capturing the likeness of our feelings, or are we... You know, I can't, I can't do the art for you, or your motivation for the art. I can only show you the door. You must <laughs> open it. You know, this river's not blue. How do you no, do that? No, it's, it's um, very like greenish brown. Yeah. I'm gonna mix here in my lovely palette. Just want to point out, Matt does this for a living, <laughs> and, and we do not. Not anymore. These days, it's more spreadsheets and meetings. Yeah, but you still, it's your your thing you do for fun, too. Look, I'm using my, I'm getting in there with my oh, finger. Oh, man, some shading? That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you ruined this one. And... Uh, <laughs> Mine's the bridge. Mine's oh. like the last push. That's what this is called. The last push. The last push. 